Joke 1. A 15-year-old Amish boy and his father were in a mall. They were amazed by almost everything they saw, but especially by two shiny silver walls that could move apart and then slide back together again. The boy asked, What is this, father? The father, never having seen an elevator, responded, Son, I have never seen anything like this in my life. I don't know what it is. While the boy and his father were watching with amazement, a fat old lady in a wheelchair moved up to the moving walls and pressed a button. The walls opened, and the lady rolled between them into a small room. The walls closed, and the boy and his father watched the small numbers above the walls light up sequentially. They continued to watch until it reached the last number, and then the numbers began to light up in reverse order. Finally, the walls opened up again, and a gorgeous 24-year-old blonde stepped out. The father, not taking his eyes off the young woman, said quietly to his son, Go get your mother. Joke 2. An Amish woman and her daughter were riding in an old buggy on a cold, blustery day. The daughter said, My hands are freezing cold. The mother replied, Put them between your legs. Your body heat will warm them up. The daughter did, and her hands warmed up. The next day, the daughter was riding with her boyfriend, who said, My hands are freezing cold. The girl replied, Put them between my legs. The warmth of my body will warm them up. He did, and he warmed his hands. The following day, the boyfriend was again in the buggy with the daughter. He said, My nose is cold. The girl replied, Put it between my legs. The warmth of my body will warm it up. He did, and he warmed his nose. The next day, the boyfriend was again driving with the daughter, and he said, my manhood is frozen solid. The following day, the daughter was driving in the buggy with her mother again. And she said to her mother, Have you ever heard of manhood? Slightly concerned, the mother said, Why? Yes. Why do you ask? The daughter replies, They make one heck of a mess when they defrost, don't they? Joke 3. An Amish lady is pulled over. I'm not going to cite you, said the officer. I just wanted to warn you that the reflector on the back of your buggy is broken, and it could be dangerous. Thank you, replied the Amish lady. I shall have my husband repair it as soon as I return home. Also, said the officer, I noticed one of your reins to your horse's reins is wrapped around his genitals. Some people might consider this cruelty to animals, so you should have your husband check that too. Again, thanks. I shall have my husband check this when I get home. When the Amish lady got home, she told her husband of the broken reflector. He said he would put a new one on immediately. Also, said the Amish woman, the policeman said there was something wrong with the emergency brake. Joke 4. A pair of Amish girls visiting New York City decide to try hot dogs for the first time. They buy two hot dogs wrapped in foil from a street vendor and sit down on a nearby bench, excited to finally try this modern cuisine. The first girl opens the foil, blushes with embarrassment, and shyly asks the second girl, What part of the dog did you get? Joke 5. A sports car is driving in Amish country. It skids on the road and crashes into a ditch. The driver gets out unharmed and looks at his car in dismay. A few minutes later, an Amish man comes riding by in a horse and buggy. The Amish man stops and asks, Would you like some help? English. The man quickly says he would, and just as quickly, the Amish man dismounts and ties his horse to the car. I'll be all right, Nelly, pull, the man says, but the horse remains motionless. Now you, Chester, pull, but the horse again does nothing. Come, Blackie, pull. Finally, the horse takes some steps and effortlessly pulls the car out of the ditch and back onto the road. Whoa, Blackie, that's good, the Amish man calls, and the horse stops. The motorist shakes the Amish man's hand and says, I really appreciate the help, but why did you call that horse by three different names? Oh, the Amish man says, that horse is blind. He's easily strong enough to do it, you see. But if he thought he was doing it alone, 
he wouldn't even try. Joke 7 An Amish man was going along in his horse-drawn buggy when he arrived at a toll booth. The toll booth operator said, It would be $5 to proceed. The Amish man said he thought that only applied to cars, and the operator explained that, in fact, it applied to all vehicles. So the man turned around and went back up the road a ways. He harnessed the horse, sat in the buggy, and hooked himself into the harness. He proceeded back to the toll booth, pulling the buggy with the horse sitting in it. The operator asked for the $5 toll, and the Amish man gestured at the buggy and said, Talk to the driver. Joke 8. Rumor has it that the Amish and the Japanese are working on a new vehicle together. They plan on calling it the Toyota. Joke 9. My parents said I don't have to come home until the street lights come on. But we live in an Amish neighborhood, so I think they just don't love me. Joke 10. A funny atheist joke. Jack, a renowned atheist, dies and, to his surprise, ends up in hell, where he's greeted by Satan himself. Completely shocked, he talks to the devil and says, Well, I've been wrong all my life, and I guess I'm now paying the price for my lack of faith. Satan laughs and replies, Oh, it's not so bad down here. Let me give you the tour so you can see for yourself. He then proceeds to escort Jack through a beautiful, lush green plain with flowers scattered here and there. There are houses where other damned souls live. As they pass through each house, the inhabitants recognize Satan and invite them inside for a drink and a chat, a request that's always granted by the devil. Every time they stop at a house, Satan never fails to display what a lovely guy he really is. He tells amazing stories, sings, cracks jokes, and is just generally a great person. At sunset, the devil sees that Jack is very tired and decides to show him the house he'll be spending the rest of eternity in. As they walked, they passed close to a huge wall, and Jack asked, What's behind there? Satan replied, Oh, nothing that should concern you. Pay it, no mind. Despite his curiosity, Jack thought it better not to bother Satan with further questions and just followed him to his new house. Satan promised he'd be back the following morning to show him the recreational center before finally bidding him good night after a long day. That night, however, Jack kept thinking back to the whole situation and how surreal everything was. His thoughts eventually jumped to the wall he saw earlier in the day. After a few minutes of trying to guess what could be behind that wall that Satan couldn't even tell him, he decided he should investigate. As such, he took a deep breath, and with newfound courage, he walked back to the place where the wall was. Once there, he searched for clues until he saw some faint light coming from a spot in the wall. Upon closer inspection, he saw that there was a hole and that the light was coming from behind the wall. Jack took a deep breath and summoned up the courage to look into the crack in the wall. What he saw was a spectacle, much like what he always thought hell would be. On the other side of the wall, huge flames were scattered all over, burning and scalding the high ground. Much to his horror, he saw the souls inside that nightmare being eternally burned and never consumed. They were screaming and pleading for help. Jack rushed back to his place, where he quietly sobbed and cried all night. He was sure now that the devil was just toying with him, giving him a bit of hope right before tossing him into eternal despair. The following morning, Satan showed up once again and told Jack to come with him. Jack pleaded, Please, please don't take me to hell. I'll do anything. Just let me stay here. I don't want to burn for all eternity. Satan asked, What are you talking about? Jack replied, I saw what was going on behind the giant wall. Satan said, Oh, you saw that. Don't worry, that's not for you. That's Christian Hill. Jack asked, puzzled, The Christian Hill. Why would the Christian Hell be like that? Satan shrugged and said, I don't know either, man. They just wanted it that way. Jack asked, Why? Satan replied, I go where I'm needed. Joke 11. Two fellas were in desperate need of cash, but admittedly, they were a bit cowardly. 
so one suggested they break into the Amish market. The logic was that since the Amish were non-resistant, even if they were caught, no harm could befall them. They carried out their plot. However, just as they were breaking into the cash register, the owner turned on the lights and confronted them with a shotgun pointed directly at them. Calmly, the Amish man said, Boys, I would never do you any harm. Yet you are standing where I am about to shoot. If this effort made your moment, then please subscribe as I am struggling to grow on YouTube. Thank you and stay happy in your life.